Hi guys, this is my ficus benjamina variegata, and I hope you enjoy the rest of my plant vlog. That you're gonna hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. All my social media accounts, including what I provide for this particular plant, when do I water her, is going to be in the description section. So do check that out. Um, I will try to put above links in regards to when I first got this plant, previous plant vlog. If I do have an unboxing of her. I'll definitely do that as well. So, um, if anybody's curious about this particular plant, I this is, I think, her first update. So, she is a very slow grower. Um, the good thing about that is, is that you don't have to get worried that she's going to outgrow her space. That's it. She was able to survive a very dark spot. The only light she was getting at that dark spot was a northern light that was about 15 feet away and supplemental very, very far LED plant light. I decided to move her. Um, just, uh, I just, I just wanted to. It had nothing to do with the health of the plant. She was just, she was thriving actually. Um, what I've noticed with this plant is it's very slow growing, yet she is very low maintenance. Very, very low maintenance. And um, also, I did, I do, well, I did keep her a foot away from an east window on the very top part of a shelf. And I thought that she might need a little bit, um, a little bit of a change of scenery because it was getting a little hard for her to be there in my opinion. So I recently placed her closer to an east facing window, but she is in a lower part of the shelf, close to the floor. So um, we shall see how she uh, works out there. Um, all my ficuses are in an all, all, all purpose potting soil that is fast draining. And um, I do not recommend miracle Grow, but anything else that is Fast draining would be fine. I would not recommend anything that would be like a cactus soil or um, succulent soil from any brand because it would be too drying and too quickly drying. I also would not recommend adding like perlite or anything to, to provide extra drainage. From my personal experience, ficus tend to like to be on the moister side. I'm not saying to water and keep the top moist, no, but um, if you do get a medium or a substrate or some type of soil that doesn't retain even a slight bit of moisture like an all-purpose potting soil, you will have to water this plant very, very frequently. So what I do with this one is I water her probably when the top one-eighth inch of her soil is dry dry like sand and it won't stick to your skin or just dry like sand um and that's pretty much it there have been times where i've watered her every two weeks and there has been times i've watered her like once a month and as you can see she has grown um i don't believe she can survive a west facing window or close to close to a direct west facing window but i've never really tried it um i think when i started i think i might have tried it now i don't remember but she has lived on an east facing window and a and a dark spot as well so those are the ones that i could verify that she does really well at a very dark spot she doesn't grow as well and the variegation is not as pronounced so um, that's why I placed her closer to more light so that she could have more variegation. But it's always been like this, that there's always been a spot that she, when, when it comes to variegated plants, there's always going to be some type of reversion and that's the plant telling you you're not providing a lot of light. So she, has a, she outgrew the spot that I put her on top of the shelf on the very top because when you put a plant on the very top part of the shelf, it, that really is mostly indirect light. It's not really direct light because um, it's not really the same as in the middle of the window or in the bottom of the window. So I placed her in the bottom of the window because she is big enough to get that. And I'm hoping after um, she's been sitting there for a while, 
that she can pop up more variegated leaves. She is still doing that, and I'm gonna show you really up close. Isn't it beautiful? This is a new leaf. Um, she's just so beautiful. She's like a mini Ficus Elastica Taniki. And yeah. And this right here is the all green ones, which is okay. It just kind of means that, you know, she needed a little bit more green in her spot. So I did just move her about a week ago. So it's not going to change right away. And this is the baby leaf and it's so adorable. So cute. I will, honey, later when you're done eating. And um, just... If you can see the difference when it's a newer leaf, it's a little bit darker and it, it becomes lighter in time. It becomes bigger and lighter and harder. Like this is a lot more wrinkly and curled. And um, that's it. I do not provide extra humidity for my ficus. None at all. Um, what I've noticed too, like if the tips here, and this is for every ficus, then this is not, not any different with this one. If the tip here or like the sides or the edges of the leaf starts to get like brown or yellow with brown, that means you're underwatering. So you might have to water her maybe a day or so before, like let's just say you have an alert for every seven or eight days. Um, and by seven days, you've noticed that there's some browning. You, she might need to be watered every six days or something like that, or be checked by six. Okay, honey, I'll be right there. Okay, so I do not provide extra humidity, and I water her when she needs it. Again, top part of the soil, about one eighth inch, and she should be fine. Um, east window is fine. A little bit away from the east window is fine as well, but if her leaves only pop up all green, that probably means she wants to be a little closer to that light. Or you can supplement with a plant, um, LED plant light. I will have recommendations below. And so this is her growth. And as you can see, the one, the branch right here, they have the same branch. The branch right here with the all green is much taller than the branch right here, which, which is the heavier variegation. A lot of people can and probably will chop this off. I really don't. I really love it because it actually helps um, ingest everything. It actually helps collect the, the, the sunlight or any kind of light so that it can process the water and it becomes more fuel for the plant to thrive and grow. So here she is. I'm going to turn her around. She is such a great, low-maintenance baby. I just love her. She's just amazing. Just no issues with her. I mean, I've tried different things, and she just loves me back. She's so low-maintenance. If you are a beginner plant parent, you want to try this out, feel free to do that. I highly recommend this plant. It is very, very easy. If you are an avid overwaterer, this is a little bit more forgiving. Um, if you are also one of those people that can forget to water, she's also a little bit forgiving, but you have to put into play, um, the right spot will make her either you water more frequently or less. And she's very adaptable. So thank you guys so much for the love and support. I love you guys and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.